Hey, what's up everybody? It's Vortech and welcome back to Smooth Operators. It's episode 4 and we are staring at a pause screen. Let me kind of adjust the speed here a little bit. Get our janitor working. It looks like he's uh, cleaning up as much as he can before the morning arrives and everyone comes into work and he goes home all night. So, or all morning I should say. So, yeah, in the last episode I kind of realized that we definitely need more and more and more space for reflection insurance. We need an extra janitor, we need an extra IT guy, and our cash is rather low. So, I'm not even, it's been a few days since I've played this now, so I'm not sure exactly what my plan was leaving the last episode. So, we might have to repeat history a little bit to figure it out, but... Uh, I do remember that the janitor, his workload is a little bit more than he can handle now, so he usually leaves this top floor, uh, un undone, like, he just, it's totally trashed, and he goes home. <laughs> and now there's another, you know, whole office to work with, so, uh, morning is arriving now, and we are just, what we're trying to do is get the inbound and outbound workloads tapered down a little bit and we need money for more employees and we wanted to hire I think in this episode I said I wanted to hire managers and I wanted to see how those managers like whip the crew into shape so we may or may not do that this time we can hire account managers now those are the people I think that are going to give us new clients and I we can't afford a new client right now make sure to place your staff in the appropriate building otherwise they'll feel like they don't belong that's fair Okay, so they're getting to work. I know I can expect several computers to break down today. We got these two twins. I wonder if my employees look the same every day or not. Some of them don't look familiar, but in fairness, I don't really pay attention to them. There's a broken computer. <laughs> so we just need to let the cash roll in, honestly. All this is going to take now is money, and it's a matter of sitting here and watching it come in. Now, it's also a matter of priorities. Do I hire another IT person to make sure that when two computers break down at once, we can handle that? Do I hire a manager now to make sure everyone is on task? So we can go into game menu and kind of see my employees, what we have, uh, organize them by, I uh, don't think we can change the organization, but we have one, two, three, four, five inbound, one, two, three outbound. And it looks like no back office. Do we really not get any back office employees? Does this go by page number? Oh, it scrolls. Oh, it scrolls. All right. I knew that. <laughs> Looked a little small. Uh, okay. Now I've lost count of everyone. We have one IT tech. And we have one janitor. Bo or back office agent. Back office agent. Um, and everyone, it shows their mood. No one's in a really bad mood. I wish I could like organize it by like how many inbound do I have, how many outbound do I have, but that really doesn't matter. What I need to be paying attention to are the stats. And the stats tell me that really I just need more of everything. <laughs> Last time I checked. So I don't think these chairs are filled. If I go into the shop menu and hire some operation staff, let's pretend for a second I'm going to hire an inbound person. Okay, all of those chairs, I can put them in any of these spots, which means that is a totally empty office. So I think what we should do is look into... A manager. Operations managers make sure the agents are doing what they should. Manager, Managed agents temporarily increase their productivity and earn some money. Their mood drops. Manager targets only surrounding buildings. So, yeah, that was the problem with the manager. I don't know how many people he's going to effectively manage. But the more I think about surrounding buildings, the more I think maybe... Hmm... If I put him here, he'll do these two. If I put him here, he might do these three. It's hard to say. It really is. Everyone's going home anyway. So no point. No point hiring manager. I do have $2,000 now, and the workloads aren't looking all that bad. We definitely have a really good flow in the outbound section of things. And I think we saved some money today. Let's see. We were offered 575 calls, and we lost 357 of them. We sent out 200 and lost 96. That's not that bad. And back office was... We lost more than half of those. Mm. Things could be better for sure. But that's not, like, terrible either. It's... I don't know if that's... I, I don't want to say it's been worse, because you guys could easily go back and say, No, this is the worst it's ever been. <laughs> but... I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'm going to have to just let the cash roll in a little bit. And I really got to think about this manager decision. 
I mean, I know hiring him will just get me. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just hire a manager. Whatever, right? I'm gonna. Oh, it shows you. I could have solved a lot of problems. What if I put him? Oh, damn it. Since these seats here are full, I can't even toy with the idea of putting him here. But I bet you he'll cover all four of those buildings if I do. You know what? We're probably going to need more reflection insurance buildings anyway. Throw them in there. I don't know where you're going, man. Work's about to start. All right, fine. Go home and do whatever it is you need to do. <laughs> I'm really curious to see how everyone works now, if the workloads even out more. But for sure, we need more inbound agents. That's obvious. So why don't we just go ahead and hire one of those right now? There we go. And I think back office, uh, you have you can have access to higher human resources. Awesome. Uh, tip of the day: employees mandatory one dollar salary increase every ten days. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna go broke. Uh, we're gonna hire one more. We're gonna hire a back office agent because the back office we're always losing, uh, you know, stuff in the back office. So he's gonna go home and do whatever he needs to do, and hopefully come back to work today. Oh, that manager is just screaming at this guy. I don't know if you saw that. I have it on, like, full speed. There he is. There he goes. <laughs> Let's, uh, oops. 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 I didn't mean to do that. Let's get over here. Wow. God. Why Why did I hire such a dick? Oh, man. He's breaking the computers. Everyone he walks up to, the computer breaks. All right. Do we have enough money to hire another tech? Because this is ridiculous. Let's go into, I think it's service staff, IT staff, salary's 40 bucks, price is 600 ugh. Well, we're losing money without, you know what I mean? We need, we need the tech. I'm throwing him in. Go ahead, bud. Do what you need to do. Whew. All right. So our outbound workload is now higher than all the others. I could definitely have another outbound person. I mean, I don't know. I, I want to save that spot for now. Oh, another broken computer. I wonder if he's yelling at them because their computer's broken and they're not working anymore. That seems like a manager thing to do. Go up behind you and be like, what is going on? Why aren't you working? Oh, the computer's on fire. Fix it. I'm waiting for the IT guy. <laughs> well, get back to work and walks away. I have to say, just uh, from pulling back the time a little bit and considering we've hired like three new people, we're making pretty decent money. I think we've made some good decisions here. We have a really productive uh, couple floors right there. And uh, we, our workloads are lower than they've ever been. And we still have one empty seat we can fill. So I think this is going to be a really good day. I'm really excited to see the projections for the end of the day. Since we're pretty much there, let's speed up time. Maybe that tech will manage to fix that computer before everyone goes home. Ooh, no, probably not. We still need another janitor, but now I feel like I could easily hire another janitor. Because we ended up with like 1600 bucks after hiring three people. That's really cool. There he is. He's, he's going to clean up around it. Uh, let's get another janitor in here and throw him at this desk right there. And he'll get to work. All right, here we go. We had 576 inbound calls and we lost 299. That is a lot less than we lost last time. Outbound is doing fantastic. Not really. <laughs> it still lost half. And, and back office. Back office lost less than half. So the question is... Who needs it more? Our inbound workload is more than the rest. We could leave it, you know, and but but when you look at the percentages, outbound losing I and mean, inbound makes us way more revenue too, it looks like. Uh, outbound is losing half of its calls. One more agent would probably put us right where we want to be for either. Well, I think we need a few inbound. We're gonna save that C for an inbound person and I guess we'll have to hire, have another reflection insurance building. Uh, maybe next door. We have all the space. Cool. All right. We'll close this. We'll save the game. And I will just, let's see. Congratulations. You got an achievement. Ran your company for 10 days. You've been awarded 500 bucks. And everyone gets like a, a pay increase. Fantastic. We'll go in and we'll hire an inbound. Put him right there and he'll start work tomorrow. Cool. So we should be off to a really good start tomorrow. I'm excited because we're going to be making more money uh, on the inbound section now. And that's going to give us enough money to get another reflection insur insurance building. While also, uh, you know, really evening out. Once reflection insurance looks good, once we're not losing as many calls as we're losing, I will consider getting an account manager to have 
more buildings and you know more things to do so as i said the account manager he will close deals with new clients so yeah we we definitely need this guy so we're not only dealing with reflection insurance but the day is kicking up now people are getting in here uh we're making a bunch of money and i am uh, i'm looking forward to seeing what ends up happening now with just the workloads in general things like that and maybe we can even throw in that next reflection insurance building before we end the episode here so let's see what he does we got the manager yelling at everyone and uh it must be funny working down here like it's just the basement where these guys do whatever the hell they want <laughs> there they go dang it is ridiculous in there i would not want to work in this place one of your workers is sick and has gone home that makes things a little bit annoying. Hopefully they were like a back office person because I want to see what that extra inbound person did for our numbers there. I hope it wasn't the new guy. I wonder if it was the new guy. No, there he is. He doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot of work. He kind of just goes and gets lunch a lot. <laughs> I shouldn't have put him right next to the elevator. That doesn't seem to be helping me very much. I'm also wondering, should I put another elevator uh, on this side of the building once we start to get another client and stuff like that I don't know I'm thinking it'll be over here the the next client we'll just have to see we'll have to see what happens but hmm we're, we're about to get to the stats I'm gonna fast forward here so we can see how the day went the workloads are really low so let's hope for the best here it looks like we ended our day with twenty nine hundred dollars that's awesome that is a thousand dollars more than I remember seeing there last time so all right here we go uh, we were offered 567 and we lost 263. Whew. The number went down and outbound is even doing pretty well. Maybe the manager is helping a lot. Back office is doing okay. Things are going pretty good. I'll take it. I mean, it's definitely an improvement. We could do a lot better, but cool. So I'm going to stop here. Thank you guys so much for watching Smooth Operators. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Be sure to check the channel. I am posting videos, well, as much as I can, clo as close to every day as I possibly can. Life is kind of busy right now, but for the most part on this channel, I try to post videos every day. So be sure to keep checking on the channel, and I will see you around. Thank you again. Peace out. Babe. Yeah? There's an Enderman in the house. <gasps> Kill it. Ah! No! Ow. Oh Ow. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. <sighs> Just trying to dig out my room, man. Come on, man. Come on, man.